invented by Norville Flugelhammer in 1892. Dr. Flugelhammer was a very interesting man. History tells us that he insisted on eating nothing but Brussels sprouts. Wow, I am constantly amazed by Miss Fowl's ability to make something as exciting as science sound so boring. Man, this is the second time this year we've been on Miss Fowl's same old tour of the same old exhibits. Nothing ever changes here. Can't anything ever be different? Oh, but it can be. And somewhere in another dimension, things are different. Very different. In this other dimension is a boy named Jimmy Negatron. Evil boy genius. And if this boy has his way, things will change in Retroville. Just a couple more changes and the final phase of my greatest plan can begin. Yes! My dimensional portal is the key that will allow me to complete my list of objectives. <laughs> Herman! I know. I'm an imbecile. Go lock myself in the broom closet. <clears throat> Now all I have to do is wait for that second-rate pretend genius Jimmy Neutron to activate one of his inventions and I'll lock on to the signal. It'll be child's play. Evil child's play! <laughs> now this exhibit on the theory of time travel is pure genius. You've got to be kidding, Cindy. Einstein's theory of time travel has many gaps in it that prevent travel through portals. Oh, sure. Next, they'll tell me that you have it perfected, right? Why, of course. Let me show you. <laughs> All I have to do is press this button and we'll go back 50 years. I've got the location. Time to swap briefing. Time for you and your barking toaster to be locked up while I have some fun. Hey, it worked! Arrgh, must have had the fluxing code wrong again. Yes! Perfect timing. Like trapping a chicken in a corner. What? Where am I? Hey, who are you? Get me out of this! What? You... You look like me, but you're wearing a fake beard. What beard? What are you talking about? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. My name is Jimmy Negatron. I am the super smart, good-looking version of you who resides in this dimension. Anyway, I've got you trapped and you will stay there in my dimension forever! <laughs> Excuse me! Huh? Uh, huh? Oh, sorry, what is it? Just what are you planning on doing now? It's quite simple, but I'll use small words so you can understand. I'm going to take your place in your world and change it just for fun, okay? No, you can't! Oh, yeah? Just watch me. Bye-bye. Herman! Get out of the broom closet and guard the prisoner, Jimmy Neutron. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> You failed again, Cosmic Weirdo. You were right, Cindy. The time travel feature was right, and I was wrong. You're smarter than me. Uh, I think you just warped your brain, Jimmy. Later. Hey, wait up, Cindy. I've got some flurp for you. Oh, purple flurp? No, this flurp is new and improved. <laughs> hey, you, Herman! What is it, Neutron? What? Don't you recognize me, you fool? I am your master, Jimmy Negatron! Mwahaha! Ha! Oh, no, you don't. You're just trying to trick me. It won't work. 
I know that you are Jimmy Neutron. No! I'm Jimmy Negatron! Negative! You are Neutron! Negatron! Neutron! Negatron! Neutron! Neutron! Negatron! Neutron! No! I am positive you are my master, Jimmy Negatron! And I will do whatever you command! Oh, okay, if you insist. Um, let me out of this cage! Right away, master! And release the robot dog Goddard as well! Yes, of course! <laughs> There. Are you happy now? Yes. Yes, master. <laughs> Command me again. Command me again. Okay, um, go play in the broom closet. At once, master. Okay, that takes care of that. Let's get out of here, Goddard. Right.